Hi, this is Ken Blystone, and I'm glad you have decided to view this presentation. After you watch this video, I hope you'll take a few minutes to visit BlystoneClass.org, my classroom in the Internet Cloud. In my classroom, you can click an option at the bottom of the screen to get free access to our interactive learning apps. I have dozens of math and science tools available, and I hope you'll check them out when you have a chance to visit our site. This presentation is going to show my Chart Runners graphing tool. Running races is something most children can relate to. Many people have a renewed interest in track and field events following the stunning performance of a Jamaican runner by the name of Usain Bolt. He became the fastest human on earth just a couple of years ago. Let's watch as he sets a new world record. Bolt set the new world record at the 2009 World Athletics Championship held in Berlin. His time for the 100 meters was 9.58 seconds. At the conclusion of the race, he struck an Olympic pose for the excited crowd. Built into the Chart Runners app is a complete tutorial on how to use the program. No matter whether the race is a world championship in Berlin or a race on the school playground, the concept is the same. How much time does it take to travel a certain distance? Working with time and distance provides teachers with an opportunity to get kids involved in mathematics in a very realistic way. We encourage you to get the physical education teacher involved. Your coach can work with the academic teacher to make use of the tool much more meaningful. Basically, the program allows students to control and adjust variables between two runners. A feature kids like is the ability to use a digital stopwatch. The stopwatch is used to start, stop, and pause races. The runners are color-coded in blue and red, which makes it easy to track their progress on a coordinate grid sheet. Students can select races of different distances, which include 100, 200, and 400 meters. The stride of the runners can be set, and runners can be given a head start, which many children can identify with, especially younger students, who might play with their older siblings and need a head start. When you use chart runners with your class, we suggest using free resources like a Google image search to find samples of coordinate grids displaying time and distance. By searching on the terms time and distance, you'll be able to show your students a variety of charts that use the same style of grid sheet we use with chart runners. That is to put time on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis. Charts such as these can be printed and shared with students to get them thinking about all the ways in which time and distance are used in sporting events and in other areas of our society that find these measurements useful. Chart Runners includes an exercise that focuses in on using the digital stopwatch. The idea is to let kids practice timing an event of a specific length. We suggest the teacher use this opportunity to teach students about the word duration. In other words, students will gain an understanding of what a reasonable amount of time is for running races of different lengths. Students should acquire a general idea of how long it takes to run a mile compared with how long it takes to run 100 meters. Many standardized tests now include questions on duration. Well, let's now set up a race between our two runners. We'll set the stride of runner 2 to 6 and the stride of runner 1 to 5. We already know that runner number 1 cannot run as fast as runner number 2. So this race is not about who is going to win, but rather this is a race about the ratio of 6 to 5. At this ratio in a 100 meter race, how much longer is it going to take the red runner to finish the race than the blue runner? 
This is what Chart Runners is really all about. Problem solving. Before students click the stopwatch, the teacher could ask them to try to figure out what the difference will be between the two runners at the end of the race. In this race, it turns out that the red runner finishes in 20 seconds and the blue runner finishes in approximately 17 seconds. Therefore, the difference between the two runners is about 3 seconds. The teacher could ask students, what will happen if we set up another race between these same two runners, but we make the race longer? What if we have them run 200 meters? Or better still, what if we have them run a 400 meter race? What will be the difference in their time if we do not adjust their strides? If we want to give runner number one, the red runner, a chance to win, how much of a head start should we give her? If we give her a 40 meter head start, will that be enough to win the race? Students can set up these parameters and do experiments in time and distance. The teacher can point out the ratio of 40 to 400 as length of head start compared to length of race is less than the stride ratio. Once the race starts, the teacher can have the students pause the race to make predictions based on what the runners have done so far. Will the red runner actually be able to win? If not, at what point in the race will the blue runner overtake the red runner? With a little planning, the teacher can have students try different ratios of head starts compared to strides to come up with all kinds of mathematical scenarios. Chart Runners is an interactive learning tool that keeps students engaged with time and distance problems. Students will actually end up doing more practice work because it is fun to set up and control the races. Remember, Chart Runners is only one of many learning tools available through BlystoneClass.org. We have tools for all grade levels and for all kinds of topics within math and science. We invite you to visit BlystoneClass.org to see all the tools that would be appropriate for your students. Thanks for watching this presentation and we hope to see you real soon in our classroom in the cloud.